Rockman fan, right? For Oh, yeah. I love the team. So how, how did you become a fan of the team? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, people in India, they love cricket. I know that you... Have you heard of cricket, the game? Yeah. 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 So uh, India doesn't have... I mean, right now, they have, the football fan following is growing a bit. Okay. But when I was in my college, it, it was solely on the influence from my friends. So, mm. I mean, they started watching football. We played some... And uh, at that point, I didn't know much about it, but Barcelona were the team who were winning at that yeah. point because they had like great players like Messi, Neymar, Suarez. So what year so is this that you started getting into FC Barcelona? You know, 2014, when oh, okay. Barcelona were at, at their peak because they won the Champions League in 2015. Yeah. And with that team, I mean, they were completely invincible, especially the front three. So I was like, okay... I fell in love with them and uh, I, I like the style of their play. It's like possession football. What, what, uh, okay. I mean, do you follow football? Because I don't uh, want to get into a little, specifics a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. vaguely familiar. Uh -huh. Because uh, unlike others, Barcelona play like a different style of football where they count, they don't counter attack, but they play a possession style of football. Okay. And that, that was followed only by like two or three top teams at that point. And it was good when I started following it and all, but now, now it's like a, a, almost two, three years of Barcelona's decline. They're starting to rise again. So it's, it's a good thing okay. now. But it was, it was a struggle for me, like for the past two, three years to see them lose all the Champions League matches. Yeah. Have you gone to a, <laughs> a Barcelona game? No, not yet. I mean, Surprisingly, Spain and Italy are two countries on my bucket list. I have okay. been to like four or five other European countries, but I've never visited these two countries. Like going to Camp okay. Nou, the Barcelona Stadium, mm -hmm. is like a dream for me. Okay. I mean, I was uh, regretting that Messi left Barcelona, but right now he's in Paris. So I have, I've not been to a match yet. I was uh, about okay. to book the Champions League match for PSG. Mm -hmm. uh, for the semifinals, but they got knocked out in the quarterfinals, and it's a pity. Oh, right geez. Now. Yeah, and even with with a really good team, so it's yeah. okay. I mean, I somehow try to see a match with Messi in it. So that's like my first aim, and the second is to watch this current young group of Barcelona boys in at yeah. Camp Nou. Interesting, because they are re rekindling the style of like the possession style of play again, and with with the with a new coach Xavi who was like their player in 2014. So, and then he retired oh, really? and after five, six years, he's like a club legend. So he came back and within like 200 days, he has like completely transformed the Barcelona team. You, you see like the average age of the players is only around 20. Mm. So, and all are homegrown players. So it, they are from the Barca Youth Academy. Okay. So it's like, how it's he's uh, rebuilding the foundation is how i would call it. and recently like a week back they had a match with real madrid and you know how strong real madrid are mm -hmm. and uh, like for the past two and a half years barcelona have hasn't won against real and the, so the last week they beat real 4-0 in wow. real madrid's home and it was an amazing match to watch <laughs> so do you not like madrid then no, Real Madrid, yeah, <laughs> I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I would say like Madrid as a place, of course, I would love to visit it. But as a Barcelona fan from heart, you always have that, you know, a sense of agony against Real Madrid. Yeah, um, I do have, a, I have a Barcelona story. So I, so I visited Spain in 2017 and huh. uh, I went to Madrid first and uh one of my one of my close friends, he's super into soccer, so I got him a, a Real Madrid hat and a Barcelona hat. But I went to the Real Madrid like official store, and they had the like mm -hmm. the Champions League trophies there and Ooh. and things like that. But when I went to Barcelona, uh, one of the days, and I I didn't plan this; it wasn't intentional, but it was kind of like a, a holiday for them, like a local holiday, kind of like Valentine's. So it was a Sunday, and um, I was out and about in Barcelona and uh, they, what they do is they, they have like roses, they have like tables all around the city and like young, 
young people are like at these tables and they're selling roses you can buy uh for for your loved ones and things like that and you see the um like the local flag that they always do but then at night they had uh el Clasico. so oh that's like the rivalry <laughs> so uh it was playing in madrid but i was in barcelona and uh so i went to this american bar and uh it was like like it was like american themed so it was <laughs> it was set up like a like a stock exchange where the prices of the uh the beers and everything would fluctuate based on supply and demand at the at the moment Ooh. so okay. like the the menu would be like a stock ticker and, <laughs> and uh but so we were watching the game there and it was packed and uh it happened that Messi scored uh, the winning goal within the last minute, the last minute match. of the game. Yeah. It, it was three, two, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. remember. So Amazing it, match. everybody went wild. And then uh, <laughs> you leave, you leave the, the bar and everybody's out on the streets and there's like a mob of people doing all these chants and celebrating. And I'm like in the middle of it. I'm like, Whoa, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah, you no. walk in and there's like um like murals of of Messi that I saw and uh it was like it was yeah. like one of the most incredible days of my life and uh wow it was crazy I mean, that that like that happened and like Messi and just the whole thing was pretty pretty cool. <laughs> you know that match was like a significant one because like Real were leading in the title race and Barcelona had to win against Real otherwise they were out of the title race. And oh, okay. So like for Barcelona to score in the 90th minute and Messi to score was yeah. like an icing on the cake. And I guess he removed his t-shirts and showed it to yeah, his mother. That's the, one. That much. that's the one, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. it was a very that's magical amazing. night. And, and you being at Barcelona at that moment, like... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty wild. Wow. 